Montague's message, May 28, 2017. These are extraordinary times when the unexpected happens and people are exposed for what they are, not what they pretend they are. This is on a worldwide scale. Again I remind you that nothing is as it seems. You must remain alert. Take note of all that is shown to you in unexpected ways. May I remind you of your visit to Tara, when you, J, A, B, and G, stood at the Leah Fall. The intention was that each of you would read the Andrew Bartsy's revocations aloud. You each read a section, except G, who floundered and became extremely fearful. He was unable to read the text. This, my dear, should have opened your eyes to the fact that he was not at one with you, or our aims. He is under the control of the Jesuits that he serves, whether through mind control or intent. You are now left in no doubt, as he has shown his hand by threatening you and our work for humanity. Pray for him. He is a man in fear who wants a foot in both camps, should he stick with the Vatican or escape their clutches. There is no hiding place, for all is being exposed. We are having success as great progress is made in the release of humanity from the shackles of bondage from off-world forces, secret societies, and governments, which until now, have remained hidden. The great ones of the past are on earth to ensure this great shift to the light occurs. Every assistance is being given to help you to move forward, to create a world without fear where man can live in peace. We, on this side of life, are actually showing you where the energy was blocked knowledge suppressed, and portals hidden. It gives us great joy to be able to work with you and your friends to free such energy. The three-in-one is active. It is becoming more active every day. Our old friend, Professor Gerald Hawkins, of Washington, who passed a spirit in 2003, is excited to be able to work directly with you, my dear, and to be able to visibly show you the places you need to work on. Many of these places were unknown to you. Because of their great power, they were kept hidden from humanity. The Atlantean connection needed to be reconstructed. This was very important, as the frequency needs to be higher. Many will notice the change. Our progress cannot be stopped. We are on a roll. Last week was stressful for you, my dear. I assure you it was successful. The shock of hearing the bad news about your friend greatly upset you. Yes, you had to get to the hospital. This was more important than writing with me. Your visits helped her. Our ability to send you to sleep during the day allows us to work directly with you. It allows us to show you exactly where to go and what to do. Simon, Scotia, Gerald, and I appreciate your input and that of your friends. Those who understand how energy works should undertake this work in groups, if possible, always being very careful whom you trust to work with. People come in many guises. It is not their words that you should note, it is by their actions that you will know them. The false flag event in Manchester, England, was used as an excuse to bring the army onto the streets, as the cabal fears for its own safety. The dark forces in power in your world are taking precautions. Their evil plans are exposed. They are at your mercy and they need you to protect them. How much longer will you continue to support and protect such evil? Without you, they are useless, as money alone cannot protect them. They are at the end of their reign of terror, fear, and control. Soon, they will plead for mercy. The Cabal produces all the weapons of war all the drugs and vaccinations, etc. They live in luxury while you struggle to survive. Yet you continue to serve them. Why? You could have overthrown them at any point in your history. It has been a painful process for many of you to accept the fact that you were conned and used mercilessly by this cabal. They have created constant war, famine, and floods, whatever it takes to ensure your suffering. You have helped them to do this for money that they have created out of nothing. Both sides of life now work together to release humanity from its bondage. Your will to succeed will drive you forward to create a better world for all. You are on the cusp of a new beginning for humanity. It is now within your grasp. 
Believe it, you can do it, and you will do it. It is time to remove fear. You have been conditioned to fear everything. It is a weapon that is used to control you. Eliminate drug-based medicines from your life and seek natural remedies instead. To those who disperse dangerous chemicals in the sky through chemtrails, I say, you will answer for such actions. Do not poison the water which humanity needs to survive. You are killing your own kind. Ireland is being prepared for her future role in your world. Both sides of life are busy working on it. The Cabal fears the Irish people ever finding out who they really are. The Vatican and the Crown have managed to keep them ignorant and under their control until now, but their time is fast running out, and they know it. The young man in jail in America has had all his stitches removed. It will take some time for his body and his mind to recover from such an horrific attack. Please pray for him, as he is totally innocent. He is one of us. Our gratitude goes to those who remember him in their prayers. My dear, great progress was made this week. Thank you for your input. We all want to work with you and your friends. Please try to get some rest. It is all coming to a head. The cabal struggles to hold on. Survival and greed are always their driving force. I remain your adoring Monty. Channeled by Veronica Keen. MontagueKeen.com